I've come to Halifax in uh, West Yorkshire, and I have to admit, I haven't got a clue where I'm going next. I was told to prepare for an unusual journey and to come here and await further instructions. All very mysterious. Oh, thanks. Welcome, Mr. Jones, to a marvellous mystery trail. You must follow the clues and be sure not to fail. Prepare for a journey uphill and through Vale as you explore the place called Calderdale. At least it rhymes. Better get going, I suppose. So join me as I set off into the unknown on a tour of this beautiful part of Yorkshire. I'll be meeting some fascinating people along the way, and there'll be some wonderful hymns. Well, it wouldn't be songs of praise without them. The River Calder has flowed through the rugged landscape of West Yorkshire for thousands of years, winding its way down from the glorious South Pennine moorland into the Calder Valley, which is part of wider Calder Dale. Lining the dale are textile towns and villages that flourished during the Industrial Revolution and still remain close communities today. Halifax, Calderdale's largest town, has its own proud industrial heritage and a rich musical tradition. This building, blackened by centuries of industry, has been at its heart for 900 years. Once Halifax's parish church, it was recently given the title Halifax Minster. And it's where congregations and choirs from all over the area have gathered to sing our hymns this week. And the first one is Immortal Invisible. my quest I reckoned what I needed was another clue and sure enough I found it a few miles from Halifax in the town of Hebden Bridge. Be sure to pack a raincoat to keep the weather at bay as many modes of transport will take you on your way on foot on wheels on water onward like an arrow but first go to the boat that is so long and narrow. I think I'm in the right place. Well, this is the way to travel, isn't it? It really is, isn't it? It's a wonderful, unique place, Alid. I'm delighted you've come to see it because this is, where, this is where I live and I've lived for 40 years and I absolutely love it. When you move into this valley, it's a whole different culture. 
and it always has been. If you were here 1,400 years ago, this was the ancient Celtic kingdom of Elmet. Right. And when you pass over here, you'd have to speak Welsh, wouldn't you? Know all about that, would oh, it, Alan? That's why I'm feeling at home, obviously. <laughs> So Calderdale, where does it start and where does it end? Well, if you go to the other side of Todmorden, we yeah. all call it Todd over here. Yeah. So it starts there and then... It starts there and if you go the other way, you go to the other side of Brig House. Right. And this canal goes all the way through. And hmm. some of the place names, uh, even for a Welshman, okay, uh, they're yes. pretty bizarre. Oh yes, I mean, I was talking to evacuees, you know, who came here from Brighton during the war. And he said he'd never been able to say Mythamoid properly. <laughs> <laughs> What's so special about Calderdale? Well, it, it, it's, it's an area that's changed immensely because uh, oh, if you come, came here, say, 50, 60 years ago even, you, there would be mills. As far as the eye could see, this was the cradle of the Industrial Revolution here, and there were handloom weaving in the villages up there. And, and when you go wandering now through those little valleys that come down into the Calder Valley, you can still see the old ruins of, of, of the mills and that. It's, it's, it's a wonderful place to go walking. There are things that still exist here. There are practices, there are traditions that, that have died out elsewhere. There's a lot of eccentric people. There's a lot of very arty people, actually. That's right. probably why I'm here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.